The pink sauce drama just heated up once again. Honestly, this sauce has to be cursed at this point because it has done nothing but get TikToker Chef P into trouble since the start of this sauce being bottled and shipped off. Last week, Chef P, whose legal name is Victoria Shaw, had come out on TikTok Live to say that she felt the company that she had partnered with in order to bottle and sell her sauce, Dave's Gourmet, she felt like they were trying to silence her and and also claim that they weren't paying her. And Dave heard her because the company is now coming out to respond to everything that she has said that they have been doing to her in a statement that they have made publicly and they have also talked to Insider where they are bringing their receipts, you guys. Like they are not standing for what she is saying. Apparently they are trying to work it out now, but I mean, she said what she said and I just feel like that's going to cause more drama, of course, because the sauce is dramatic. Everything that touches or goes near the sauce, it is giving dramatic. But I feel like with everything that she's been saying about this company, it's definitely not going to help her. They cannot be happy about the way that she's making their company look. But she felt like the company at first was trying to silence her because at first she was posting TikToks and they were getting taken down and she felt like Dave's was behind her TikToks getting taken down and was blaming them for it. Share this lab. They keep trying to silence me they keep deleting the post because they know if they see it they know if the people see it what will happen they lie to everybody i don't even know how my posts keep getting deleted but it just keep getting deleted and these people they are afraid because they know they stealing. They know what they doing is wrong. I've literally reposted this post like three, four times. Well, guess what? You can't delete my life. You can't delete who I am. You can't delete my presence. You can't delete my ambition. You can't delete my strength. You can't delete my passion. You can't delete my story. You can't. And that's their problem because they're afraid of my, they're afraid of my strength. That's why I put the thing there. Because how am I going to get the funding for an attorney? They're trying to financially sabotage me out of millions of dollars. These people sent me a negative balance. Obviously, we've seen that there's been scandal after scandal, drama after drama with this sauce, starting from the very beginning when she was making this thing in her kitchen. And then there was obviously more drama that followed as she continued with the pink sauce. But now, like you heard her talking about, she felt like Dave's Gourmet was not paying her properly. So that's why she went live. She had also started a GoFundMe where she was hoping to raise $100,000 to help her with legal fees because she felt like she got a bad contract with Dave's Gourmet and they were doing her dirty. She posted on the GoFundMe, Hi, my name is Victoria Shaw. I'm the founder of the Pink Sauce LLC, one of the most viral sauce sensations of 2022. As a young entrepreneur with big dreams, I followed my intuition and went forth towards my dream to create something new. I made a few mistakes on the way, which led me to trust a company that is trying to take everything away from me. They lied to me. They are not paying me and they are not being transparent about records. I have tried on multiple occasions to try and come to one accord with them, but they refuse to reimburse me for marketing expenses that I spent my own funds towards. I have been silenced and financially sabotaged. I'm a single mom and I do everything for my kids. Right now, I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food on my own. My mom is on disability and has been giving us $20 just to get by on a daily basis. School is a few days away. I haven't been able to get my kids clothes or anything. I am currently facing an eviction that has gone into default. The sheriffs can come to my door any day now. I need legal help. They're refusing to pay me the royalty that is owed to me. I don't know what else to do. I can't give up. I need help. And like I said, now Dave's Gourmet is speaking up. And I feel like they kind of had to because she was out here just talking so badly about Dave's Dave's Gourmet. Obviously, everybody knows the company that she partnered with. So when she says that, you know, they've lied to her and they're being shady and they're not being transparent with her and stuff like that, obviously people are going to go to Dave's Gourmet and be like, what the heck is going on? So they address this situation bringing the receipts as well to combat what Chef P is saying. The company wrote in a statement, Dave's Gourmet has adhered to the terms of the agreement with Miss Shaw. We disagree with Miss Shaw's allegations. Dave's Gourmet has paid Chef P over $120,000 to date, and it continues to make all payments as due and on time based upon the terms of the contract. 
We've offered to reimburse Ms. Shaw for her lawyer's time to go over the terms of the agreement and how it relates to the payments that were made to Ms. Shaw. She indicated that she's open to an amicable resolution of the dispute and the parties are in discussion. They also spoke with Insider where they actually shared documents with them to verify the funds sent to her from Dave's Gourmet. The article stated Insider reviewed screenshots of bank statements shared by Dave's Gourmet reflecting payments it says it made to Shaw, as well as a company called Flavor Crazy Inc., which is registered in her name. There were 12 total transactions in the screenshots, totaling $120,000. The payments began in August 9th, 2022, according to the documents provided by Dave's and the latest transaction occurred on August 17th of this year. So clearly she has been getting paid by Dave's according to the documents provided, and they are claiming in their main statement that Chef P is open to an amicable resolution and they're working it out with their lawyers. It's interesting how she claimed they weren't being transparent and that they weren't paying her though when they were more than willing to go on the record and show the documents themselves. I don't know if she thought that she was going to be getting more or what the deal was, but they're apparently working it out now. She had mentioned in her statement that she wanted to be reimbursed for her marketing expenses that she used her own money to try and promote the pink sauce. And I don't know if she thought that that was something in the contract and it's not, and they're only paying her for having created the sauce itself or what if she went over budget, spent more than they're paying her. I guess she thought that if she spent her own money promoting it, that they would owe her maybe more money or something like that. I mean, when you go on her socials, she posts a lot of stuff, okay? And it kind of sounds like maybe she did go over budget because when she sent them what she paid to promote all of this and they sent her the check that she's supposed to make, it must be the negative balance that she's talking about, but it just sounds like she needed to be a little bit more aware of like how much money was gonna be coming in every single month from Dave's and then figure out how much she should be spending to make videos. And obviously we haven't seen the contracts, so I don't know if they're paying her to license the name, the pink sauce and you know, there's like a minimum guarantee that she's being paid every single month for them to use the name and for them to have this sauce recipe or if she's getting paid for sales. And so she doesn't really know what the numbers are every single month. But I feel like maybe they could ballpark for her. We're expecting sales to be in this range and then she should spend under that and she just wasn't aware or they weren't telling her that information and then she spent way too much money and this is how she ended up in this situation. But there's clearly been some miscommunication here. And I can't imagine making the GoFundMe and going on live talking poorly about the company she is so closely working with is going to do her much good as they can't be happy that she's going around slandering their name. I mean, they were quick quick you guys to jump on the situation and respond to everything i mean this whole thing has just been such a mess and to nobody's surprise as it's been an absolute roller coaster ride for this freaking sauce in the last year but i really hope that she figures it out because she does have kids and you know this is a small business that she did start and i think a lot of people wanted to root for her from the beginning people wanted to support her this sauce went viral is such a big deal and people wanted her to succeed they wanted to see her improve but time after time she wasn't taking people's advice and then you know she had the drama where she went on the karamo brown show and she was going off on the customer and she just didn't look good as a business owner she didn't want to hear the criticism she didn't want to hear the feedback and so now the public opinion of her isn't really the best, but I don't think people want to see her fail. I think people are just like, dang, again, like something with this sauce, like she has been through it with it. But I really do hope that she figures it out. And like I said, she has kids, like that just sucks. Like you don't want to hear someone say that they can't afford to provide for their kids. And so hopefully they can all work it out. They can figure out where the miscommunications are. And hopefully it's just the case where she doesn't need to be buying so much stuff for her Instagram videos and her TikToks and stuff. And she can start pocketing the money that they're giving them. I will say that this GoFundMe is still up, which is interesting because if she's trying to work it out with Dave's, I feel like they would want her to take it down since she's really slandering the company's name on the GoFundMe. And I feel like they could sue her for that, but hopefully, you know, that doesn't happen because she's saying that she has no money and lawyers are expensive. But that's what Dave's Gourmet had to say in response to Chef P coming out to say that she got a bad deal. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.
Thank you.